In this video, we'll be doing problem 4.51 in Kellison's book on the theory of interest. We'll be finding the present value of a non-constant continuous annuity, as we've been doing recently, but this time with the twist that we also have a non-constant non-constant force of interest, so the general formula really will be needed. Moreover, this continuous annuity is deferred. It's a one-year deferred continuous varying annuity. It's payable for 13 years, so the Payments would start at time 1 and end at time 14. The rate of payment at time t is t squared minus 1 per annum. This would really be in units of money per year then. This would be the function we've been calling h of t. And the force of interest is not constant this time. At time t, its value is 1 plus t to the negative 1. The goal is to find the present value of the annuity. So we, again, we need the general formula. In general, the present value um, of the annuity is going to be the discount factor, which is the accumulation function to the negative one power, times the cash flow. We're going to integrate that from zero to when the cash flow ends, although from zero to one in this case, because we have a one year deferral, the cash flow will be zero. So we can really integrate just from one to 14 in this situation h of t being this, what is the a of t to the negative 1 going to be? The reciprocal of the accumulation function. For a non-constant force of interest, in general it's going to be e to the negative of the integral from 0 to t of the force of interest function. Let me make its variable something else like tau. So in this case that's going to be integrating 1 over 1 plus tau, d tau, from 0 to t. You're going to get a negative natural log of 1 plus tau. Tau goes from 0 to tau equals t. This will give then a, an e to the negative natural log of 1 plus t. You can bring the negative sign up into the power and get e to the natural log of 1 plus t to the negative 1 power. This is a natural log here and use the fact that they're inverse functions to simplify it to 1 plus t to the negative 1. So that's kind of interesting, and this is true. When the force of interest is 1 plus t to the negative 1, so is the discount factor function 1 plus t to the negative 1, and the, the accumulation function would be 1 plus t. This is really simple interest. A of t itself is really 1 plus t. This is simple interest with 100% annual interest rate. Um, though that doesn't mean the money is growing by 100% instantaneously um, all the time. Um, anyway, that is what A of t is, and this is what A of t to the negative 1 power is. Let's go ahead and plug those things in here. Also plug in H of t. We're going to be integrating from 1 to 14. t squared minus 1 over 1 plus t, or t plus 1. And this is easier than it looks. The top can factor as t minus 1 times t plus 1. The t plus 1 can cancel with the one on the bottom. You get the integral from 1 to 14 of t minus 1. Pretty easy integral to do. We get t squared over 2 minus t evaluated from 1 to 14. 14 squared is 196. 196 divided by 2 is going to be 98 minus 14 and then subtract what you get when you plug in 1. So we get 84 plus 1 half, we get 84.5, and that is the correct answer. That is the present value of this one year deferred continuous varying annuity that's payable for 13 years based on this rate of payment and based on this force of interest.